Welcome back, guys. Now Tomer's going to show us how to annotate and code certain items or damage areas with individual pictures, notes, and what have you. Yeah, so Anthony, you remember we were in our workshop area, and this is where I've opened us up again. All right, so now we're walking around this basement, and we see the damage to this pool table. Now we want to say something about it, and we want to communicate it with the owner, the adjuster, whoever we're sending this that's claim to. That's an old to. pool table, man. Exactly. Uh, and maybe that's what you want to communicate, right? So I've pressed this matter oh, tag button. adjuster. Yeah, that's an old pool table. <laughs> so We're going to depreciate the heck out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you're walking around the workshop, you've decided to uh, say something about this pool table. So we've created a matter tag, right? And all I've done was hover over the table, okay. click somewhere. Now, uh, you know, just for visual reference, I could play around with a stem height. Uh, you know, maybe color code it red because this is something that's going to the claim adjuster and you've decided red is adjuster, blue is owner, uh, you know, uh, uh, and yellow is for the, the, the independent adjuster, you whatever, whatever right. you decided on. And now you've color coded that, you've given it a title, so uh, pool table, pool table uh, details. And here in the details, you want to write the things gold like model, make, uh, yeah, gold, gold trimming. Gold, cue balls. <laughs> Anything you want to do, you can actually hyperlink. You know, if I want to actually link to, uh, you know, see original, and I want to actually put a URL here that. Uh, well, could you actually, let, let's say that let's say we actually purchased a, a replacement item. Let's say for that pool table, could we attach the receipt or embed the receipt in there? Exactly. Yes, you really? can. So you can attach the link to the store. Or if it was like an emergency repair or something like that, we could actually attach that. Exactly. So if the receipt is, let's say, somewhere in your Dropbox or somewhere okay. online, I could just put here where I see media and insert the URL of that receipt and that media would automatically be embedded and you'll see an image pop up here. Or perhaps if it was a, a light quantity product that we searched online for and we had a price online in a catalog system, online catalog, we could drop that URL link to you get a drop that price. URL because there's not always a price for everything we need in Xactimate, especially when you're talking about contents. Exactly. So you could drop that uh, line item, basically that custom line item, <sighs> from the internet with a source of reference. That's amazing. Directly in this. Now, as soon as I press publish, any of the measurements you saw me doing earlier, mm -hmm. or any of the annotations I've made, those get updated to the model automatically. So let's say. You've done a post a pre mitigation scan. First thing you did on the scene, scan it, send the URL to everyone. Mm -hmm. Now you're in the office a day later. You want to make these annotations. We're starting to get accumulate data. Hey, that pool table is five thousand dollars. Exactly. Here's the comparable price. We can go back in and tag this, and everybody that we shared that's going to see the updates. Exactly. You don't need to update them. You don't need to say, oh, here's a new link. That link is already updated. They're going to see your tags. And if you make them a collaborator on your model, they can actually add tags of their own. So you see it. So now you've got this collaborative communication tool for the claim. So I'm buying new contents, using. new furniture for my house. I'm providing proof of that loss or that replacement item. I'm taking it and I'm building my building my claim from the ground up. Exactly. So let's, so let's look at some other rooms, Tomer. Yeah, so here I'm walking from the living room. Look at the kitchen, man. There's a lot of code issues in the kitchen. Yeah, look at this mess. Take that electrical outlet, for example. Okay. So you're saying you when you in, can embed something, can you actually, because insurance companies, they, they love to pay for stuff when you provide them the code or the, or the information or the visual as to why it needs to be paid for. Um, that, that electrical outlet, for example, would need to be brought up to code with a GFI plug. So can you actually embed like a visual or a statement of that code to that particular area? Sure. If I have that code in a URL, what I can do is uh, uh, basically place the matter tag like I did before. Okay. And here I want to say a GFI code. Right. Yeah, it's a GFI plug code. And then, you know, I could uh, uh, see image, paste that URL in here, All right? And that's a URL of the code that you want to show. I had done, and now this tag automatically to... has an image attached to it. Can you right? blow, blow that visual up there? Yeah. Unbelievable. So now the insurance desk adjuster or my supervisor or somebody, hell, he's going to give me a raise for knowing all the codes. But show, uh, we got the code, the visual right there in that particular damage area as to why that particular plug needs to be brought up to code. Exactly. Guys, in the next chapter, Steve Selleck from SRP is going to sit with Tomar and talk about how to use Matterport in the estimating process in large loss claims. See you soon.